Na asante sana kwa kuchagua taarifa zetu mtazamaji. Jina langu ni Zubeida Kanani. Mimi ni Mary Atuoli na mtangazaji wa ishara ni Meresha Owiti. Mazungumzo mapya ya maridhiano ya kamati ya watu kumi ambayo inahusisha viongozi kutoka muungano wa Kenya Kwanza na wale upande wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya sasa yanatarajiwa kungoa nanga rasmi Jumatatu ijayo baada ya mkutano wa kwanza wa leo wa kuweka msingi kwa mazungumzo na kujadili namna ya mazungumzo yatakavyokuwa. Naam kikosi hicho kinachoongozwa na kinara wa chama cha Wipa Kalonzo Msyoka na kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la taifa Kimani Shumwa sasa kimeitwika mzigo kama mati ya kiufundi na sheria kuainisha maswala ya kujadiliwa. Mwanabari wetu Emmanuel Oto anatufungulia jamvi la KTN leo Jumatano. Baada ya muda wa shauku na hatiati hatimaye kamati mpya watu kumi kutoka upande wa Kenya kwanza na ule wa upinzani wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya kamati hii ya watu kumi imekuwa na mkutano wa kwanza wa pamoja katika ukumbi wa Bomas kujadili maswala kumi yaliyoibuliwa na makundi hayo mawili kwa mazungumzo na baada ya mkutano wa faraga uliongozwa na wenyekiti kiongozi wa chama cha Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka na mwenzake kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge la taifa Kimani Shongwa wana kamati hao waliibuka na taarifa ya pamoja wakiashiria mazungumzo kuanza rasmi Jumatatu ijayo na kupisha kamati ya kiufundi kujadili agenda ya mazungumzo There are matters that will need consultation in the next one or two days we think that the technical team should sit by Friday and generate the necessary documents so that on Monday we 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 get moving by Monday as agreed we will have the secretariats that will be supported by parliament uh, for secretary of services we also have technical committees backing up each of our teams kikosi cha kiufundi cha azimio kinaongozwa na katibu mkuu wa jubilee Jeremiah Kioni pamoja na msomi Adam Zolona wakili wa azimio Paul Mwangi Kenya kwanza ingali kuandaa kikosi chake cha kiufundi na usaidizi we agreed to set up um, um, there will be two technical teams on both sides with a rapporteur on both sides and we have agreed that um, uh, the speakers of parliament will provide the answered reporters we, we thought that is very important because subsequently we expect there will be documents generated and they will require they will require presentation perhaps uh, on the floor of both houses we have indicated also that we will be engaging on the basis of mutual respect all in the interest of our nation and not uh, in any private interest or any personal interest but everything that we shall engage on will be for the benefit of the country and the people of this great country Makundi yote mawili ameahidi kuzungumza kwa wazi na heshima kwa kila mmoja ili kutatua maswala tata hata hivyo makundi hayo mawili bado hayajafikiana kuhusu kujumuishwa kwa swala la gharama ya juu ya maisha kwenye meza mazungumzo kila mmoja kivuto upande wake. We are generally in agreement with the, the agenda items but we have to agree on the, how we frame the agenda uh, because the two sides of the different agenda items Azimio iliibua masuala matano ya mazungumzo yakiwemo gharama ya juu ya maisha, mageuzi IBC na kuhusishwa kwa Wakenya wote katika uendeshaji wa taifa. Huku upande wao Kenya kwanza ukitaka swala la kukarabatiwa kwa tume mpya ya uchaguzi na mipaka kujadiliwa. Kikosi cha mazungumzo sasa kitakuwa kinachukua mapumziko mafupi na kurejea wiki ijayo kuendelea na mazungumzo ya maridhiano kujadili na kujua yale masuala ambayo atayoko kwenye meza ya mazungumzo ili mazungumzo hayo ya anze rasmi Jumatatu ijayo. Emmanuel To, KT News, Bomas, Nairobi. Siku moja baada inspekta mkuu wa polisi Jafet Kome kudai kuwa viongozi wa upinzani walikodisha maiti kutoka kwenye hifadhi